Okay, the machine is done um, and it has been used. As you can see, I've got an 8 foot walnut board on it right now. There's one of the mortises. And I just supported the other end with a roller stand. had ball bearing rollers on it so it could move in three directions with no problem. Um, final things I need to show you. Uh, this is how I finally worked out the fine height adjustment. I just stuck the uh, threaded uh, knob on the bottom, built this L-shaped bracket to hold it. It pushes up on the bottom. I did put a piece of steel here where it makes contact so it won't wallow out the uh, plywood. Um, the router attaches the same way it used to. The final thing is uh, my hold down fence. Um, it's got three hold downs. There's my stop block for repeated cuts. This is my main hold down. And just a smaller one. I do have another one this size coming. Um, it hasn't arrived yet. I do want two of this size on here just to um, make sure I get a good solid hold down. Um, just move this out of the way and show you how this works. Um, all I did was drill through it, put some knobs through. Um, these are quarter 20 uh, threaded bolts. Um, they're three inches long. I glued up two pieces of rifts on red oak for the fence. Let's see, there's the bolt protruding out. It just slides into the T-track and locks down so I can have it in this direction. I can have it in this direction. Um, I can even do a 45, but I'd have to probably make another block um, to, uh, or put some grooves, grooves in where these knobs are so they can slide back and forth to allow for the, the spinning motion. Um, I'll do that if it comes to it, if I ever need it for a project. I'm not going to worry about that now. Um, my final thing to show you is the stop block system. It ended up being basically the same as the old one. I just extended the arms that come off. These are attached to the back of the machine. Um, same type of blocks. The machine just slides up against it and stops. That's how I limit my travel, to limit the length of the mortise. Um, Nothing special about it. I was hoping to move them somewhere else so they weren't sticking out off the sides. I didn't come up with anything. Um, I didn't have any bright ideas. If you build one and you come up with something better, post up a video and share it. Um, I'd like to see what you come up with. I'd love to see somebody else's machine that they built. Um, that would be awesome. But that's it. That's all I've got for mine. Um, there it is again, as I showed you before, and um, I found out by actually running these eight and a half foot long, two inch thick um, walnut boards through it, uh, it's much more rigid than the old one, and that's the number one thing I was going for. Um, it's night and day different. The other one was fine for small projects. It got me through a few things. Um, this one feels like an actual machine, not just a jig that I slapped together. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.